developments in the year-old homicide case involving a three-year-old girl from Concord. News 9 was first to tell you that her own father is now facing murder charges. WMUR's Tim Callery live now in the newsroom with more on his arrest. Tim? Well, Sharice, Joe Carl Bureau was arrested last night here in Manchester. The Attorney General's office says he is responsible for the death of his daughter, Jay Lee, and tonight neighbors say they are shocked. A break in the case regarding the death of three-year-old Jay Lee Bureau. It was back on March 15th of 2016 when the toddler was found unresponsive inside a Canton Circle home in Concord. She was rushed to Concord Hospital where she was pronounced dead. It was later determined the little girl was a victim of a homicide. Now on the heels of the one-year anniversary of her death, Joe Carl Bureau, Jay Lee's own father, sits in jail, accused of her murder. The Bureaus no longer live in their Concord home, but news of the arrest has their former neighbors talking. I mean, it's horrible. I mean, it's very surprising. Dylan Montmany lived next to the family. He says he would sometimes see Jay Lee outside, but the family kept to themselves. The wife or the mother, whoever it was, she was fine. She was always nice, but I didn't really, you know, I never, the other guy never really said anything to me. Autopsy reports state Jay Lee died of blunt force trauma to the abdomen. Her 22 year old father is now facing second degree murder for recklessly causing her death. Montmany says after the police hype died down, he never heard anything else about the case, but he says he never expected this to be the outcome. Yeah, I'm pretty shocked and surprised, especially since I, since I live right next to him because <laughs> it's on the other side of my wall. But yeah, I, was, did, I didn't see this one coming at all. I didn't see him as an angry, you know, killing his daughter type of thing. During a vigil held over the summer marking the six-month anniversary of Jay Lee's death, her mother told News 9 Jay Lee was mature for her age and always had a smile. She said she plans to hold a vigil every year in memory of her daughter. And now the Attorney General's office says this case is still under investigation. They are asking anyone with any information on Jay Lee's death to call the Concord Police Department. Live in the newsroom, I'm Tim Callery, WMUR News 9.